Well, students will be heading back to school in just a matter of weeks, which means back to school shopping is in full swing. Now, already you may have noticed the cost of supplies continues to rise. Mark Lampkin with Lampkin Wealth Management is here with a plan to help us save because that's obvious. I mean, the prices are really, really high this year. I'm shocked. Hurts, I looked at it yeah. last night. Parents are going to spend $110 billion yeah. on going back to school. But here's what I was shocked mm. by, Claudia. How much did you usually spend on your son buying back to school supplies? Because I was shocked at this number this year. Like on per average, student? Yeah, per. I would guess three to four hundred. Get Five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars this year, and yeah. I was shocked Easily. by that. I had no clue. So and that doesn't include like once you're in high school, they worry more about you need like a Surface Pro or you need, you know what <laughs> yeah. I mean? And that's you know a, th a thousand. Uh, but so we got, got some, some ideas. We yeah. got some ideas. Like so, you've like broke this down, like because this really kind of draws us in to make us think. Here's logically how you can save money, and your first is to begin with shop your home. I it, love going and shopping in my own home. <laughs> it's a scavenger it's, hunt. Yeah. Have fun with it. You know, the, the best thing is, is, is you don't even know what you have in your home. I mean, right. look in the drunk drawers or closets. And if you go through every drawer in your home and all the closets and all the things you have, you'll be surprised about the amount of things that you can find and mm -hmm. scratch off that list. So the mm -hmm. first thing is have fun. Turn it into a scav scavenger hunt, especially the small kids will love it. And you'll be surprised about, you could save 30, 40 bucks right there. Well, it's, a lot of times we stock up, we buy extra, and we forget that we have the extra That's right. in the extra you know, yeah. office closet. Uh, and then the, the next is wait a few weeks. Yeah, so this is one of my favorites. You don't need to get it no, for the first day see, When you email that teacher, when you get that list, and you can ask that teacher, email that teacher, what part of these supplies are used maybe the second half of the semester? Because what will happen is two weeks out, people, the retailers go to holiday shopping. You get massive discounts. Mm. So if you can buy maybe just that first third or half of that school list, you can save 50 and 60% off retailers cost because they need to get that stuff out for holiday room. So make sure you know on the time wise what's, what's appropriate. Uh, you suggest shopping online because I've noticed this. Last year I bought in store, but then uh, I also did a couple of extra things online, and I swear to you, that online stuff was cheaper. I know that it was. It absolutely like, is. there was a difference. Well, here's the deal. When you're taking especially small children yeah. and you're going in the store, how many extra things do they actually put in the shopping oh, a lot cart? Of extra you know? Yeah. And, it, and for me, Emma Grace wants it, she's getting it, so right. I've got to buy it. So it's going right. to cost me more right in the stores. So go online, Amazon Back to School. They've got an Amazon Back to School special and Walmart.com. Last night I went on about six <laughs> different sites to check prices. Those are the two lowest prices that I found that's on there. And you won't have those impulse buys. Yeah. Um, host a swap. What yeah, is that? this is kind of cool, right? I, saw, I found this last night about. Think about if you have a swim team or the PTA or just a neighborhood that has a lot of kids in it or a lot of friends, have everybody bring over five or six things that the child's outgrown, they're not using, That's they're going to replace, idea. or they've got it, they just never wore it, and have it over and you all have a swap party. There. That, that way you can have things for free mm -hmm. and literally have new for your child. Uh, buy new to, to you. I yeah. like this idea because every year Trinity does something like this. This is my you favorite. Can buy from, it's like a swap, it's not a swap, but uh, you're buying used, essentially, and they're great products and great brands, but you have stores. I've got a story right. for you, all right? So I'm okay. driving home from the golf course one day, and <laughs> literally Zach texts me and says, Dad, Emma needs four pair of pants and three shirts she's outgrown. So I'm driving home, and I've never been in Once a Child before, right? Or Once Upon a Child. Once Upon a Child, I go yeah. in this store, and I, listen, I'm not a paid spokesman or anything. They've got tags on it. I bought like 250 bucks worth of brand new clothes for $50 and took over to Emma Grace, and they're brand new. Yeah. So make sure those thrift stores, Once Upon a Child, those type of stores like that can save you hundreds of dollars from backpacks to jeans to, to even school uniforms they have. Uh, lastly, think long term. What do you mean? So think about this. So like I talked about earlier, after that first two or three weeks, you, they're going to mark this stuff down 50, 60 percent. If you're in a situation where you can buy multiple years, pencils and <laughs> pencils, pens, paper, that stuff's not going to change year for year. So it's going to last for years. And then the last thing when you do that, you can turn this into a fun game as far as an exercise for your child. We've got X hundreds of dollars and here's the list. 
Make them do the math, help them go through the list so you can teach them how to be responsible shoppers and not just get everything they want. Right. But if you put these into actions, I went through this last night, mm -hmm. and that 500 turned into 350 bucks. That's a great savings. 150 bucks for you, I'd rather you have it than the retailers. And, and you're, the kids are learning something along the way too, I like the lesson. I like, I the, like lesson the lesson part, yeah, you gotta teach them to be responsible or they're gonna spend on those credit cards. Uh, so to schedule your consult with Mark, just head over to lampkinwealth.com or you can schedule the, or you can call him uh, the number on your screen at 690-6764.